previously. Band ticket, baby. That's as good as anything, dude. I'll get rid of something from Alex's collection. On Progression Series Season 2. This next episode, buddy, is the first reprint set of the Progression Series Season 2. Dark Beginning 1. If there's a way to make our pools even stronger, that is going to be a disaster, and I cannot wait. Dark Beginning 1. That's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, I got another band ticket. It's gone next episode, dude. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, We'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Last episode, it was a crazy one. Coming out with a nice victory, I'm also in the position where I can ban something because I rolled a ban ticket on my wheel. Got a little bit lucky, I'd like to say, but this is a weird set to be able to cash in one of these. With Dark Beginning 1 being open today, I have to ban something that Alex has exclusively, which there's a pretty simple choice, but I also have the chance to pull it in today's packs, which would be extremely unfortunate. I shouldn't have to keep you waiting for too much longer. The only broken card that Alex has access to that I do not is Delinquent Duo. That will be the card that will be removed from our card pool moving forward. I already let Alex know. Let's get to the wheel. Today is a big day, Progression Series fans. It's the first reprint ever introduced to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. It is going to be a bloodbath today after we pull some of the most powerful, iconic cards of all time back in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s first reprint set. I can't wait to see what we can pull from this and just absolutely morph any strategy that we've developed so far. I feel like this is really the set that can completely flip the series on its head. Maybe give Alex the advantage he so sorely needs. However, I I've been doing pretty damn good already, and I'm able to spin the wheel again. Not as exciting of a wheel for Solo the Duelist, unless I can nail things like Starlight or any of these ones over here. But, um, hey, it's a wheel. I'm always excited to spin it. Let's see what we can grab for today. Big episode today. I really can't wait to go into Dark Beginning. It's gonna be nuts. That might as well be useless. I think I only got two Mind Crush, so what do we say we bump it up to three? It's good enough for me. So, the wheel's not even the most exciting thing of this episode. I'll let Alex tell you all about Dark Beginning 1. You know, all things considered, I think last episode was actually pretty evenly matched. I think if I properly assigned my role and was more aggressive when I should have been, I probably could have eked out the win, but it is what it is. Here we are once again back in the loser circle, and if there's an episode that Gage and I have been waiting to record ever since the beginning of Season 2, probably even before that, probably when we were conceptualizing Season 2 we were still filming season one. It is dark beginning one. Holy fucking shit. This episode is going to change everything. Dark beginning one, for those of you who don't know, is a 250 card reprint set of everything from Legend of Blue Eyes up to Labyrinth of Nightmare. That is five separate sets included in this set. And not every card is in here, but there's going to be a lot of cards that Gage and I missed out on. They're now going to be introduced into the card pool. This episode is going to be in insane. I'm just going to quickly go through because there's so many cards to talk about here that I feel like I could talk about this forever, right? But Snatch Steal, right off the bat. Confiscation is in this set as a common, which is great because currently Gage has access to this and I don't, which means this is going to be a card that I can now use. And he's most likely going to ban Delinquent Duo because of his ban ticket from last time. So I'm going to want some degree of hand destruction. But I mean, the list goes on, right? Forceful Sentry is a rare. MST is a super rare and Gage has one and I don't. This is something I'm a bit fuming about. I didn't think about the fact that we were doing side sets.
that's when I picked Trunade as my uh, Starlight Rare ticket. And so kind of regretting this. This isn't guaranteed though. It's a 250 card set. It's massive. So we could miss Trunade, even though it's a rare. I'm hoping we do miss it for the sake that I already have it though. The list goes on and on though. I mean, we have painful choice. There's powerful stuff like Cyber Jar. All of the recruiters are in here, which is something that we only have like a few of each. So this can actually round out our recruiters for different archetypes later on. There's Jinzo in here at Ultra, which I really hope Gage doesn't get access to. Dust Tornado is rare, which is really strong for the spell and trap removal department. Call the Haunted at Super, now that we're getting to the Pharaoh Servant cards. Io's in here again, but we already have access to this. Nobleman is still a super, but neither of us currently have this card. Premature we both have, so it's pretty irrelevant for now because it's also limited. And then it just keeps going on and on. We're in the LOB cards now. Dark Hole, Raigeki. In their original rarities, but in, actually, no, I think Raigeki got bumped to Ultra. But in any case, still just absolute powerhouse cards. Another shot at Fisher isn't terrible. Trap Hole, I'd probably say he's power creep because we have bottomless at this point. Swords would be hilarious if I could pull one of these. Reborn at Ultra is in here. I, you know, looking at this, I think I should have probably picked like Reborn knowing that True Nade was a rare, but maybe we'll get rewarded, never punished. Magician of Faith is actually incredibly interesting because Gage and I both missed this and this is arguably the best light monster for our chaos strategies. It's a rare, so again, not guaranteed, but it's still pretty easy to get. Change of Hearts in here as well. Gage has access to this. So if I pull that, there's pretty much a 0% chance that Gage will ever ban it. So I'm really looking to get the cards that Gage has so that I can have them in my pool and they're pretty much safe from getting banned moving forward. But I mean, aside from that, LON has a few cards in here as well, but uh, nothing as crazy. I mean, Torrential's in here at Ultra. It's limited for the time being, but in later sets, this actually gets unlimited. So we could actually play multiples of that. Card of Safe Return is a common. Gage already has this from LON. So if we got a couple of these for maybe zombies later on, that could be pretty nice. But ultimately, I mean, there is just so many powerful cards in Dark Beginning. I don't even know where to begin. This is going to be a ridiculous episode. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. But first, of course, we have the Pity Pack. Uh, did you know Tournament Pack 4 was the only Tournament Pack for like a year? Just insane. But I think next episode should be Tournament Pack 5 to at least change it up a bit. I think that may be three Gravity Binds. So if anything, uh, that's a possibility to play Control, I guess. But we don't care about this. All we care about are 24 packs of Dark Beginning 1. Let's get cracking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling a Redoer ticket will be at the ready for this set here. Dark Beginning 1. I've been thinking about this all week. I can't wait to see what we can grab from DB1, the first reprint pack to ever hit Yu-Gi-Oh. So 24 packs of it, man. See how lucky we get. Pack structure is a bit different. As you can see, they're a little bit thicker. Two extra cards in there. Off the bat, card a safe return uh, as a common is absolutely ridiculous. We had one of them as an ultra and never really got to use it, but having at multiple copies might be something we can build a deck around. Pack number two, Cyber Jar. I got to scan a little bit harder for these, but um, this is okay. I didn't get a Cyber Jar myself, so having one finally in our collection is pretty good too. Um, might be a too little too late though, but uh, hey, regardless, I'll take it. No problem. Oh, Summon Skull. I was looking for it. Uh, super Rare Summon skull i get back in the day man when we, if we would have pulled this literally on metal raiders episode it would have been crazy but at the moment it's nothing special super rare ceasefire man is that really it for the pack jeez that is a second copy of giant rat that we finally get to add to the collection provided if we keep this roll but um so far it hasn't been too good i did a couple test openings and it's a little hard to get some of the rares we want like forceful century and magician of faith and such like that but this has definitely been on the low side of even my test packs all right you guys 24 packs of dark beginning one if there is an episode that gage and i are both probably going to use our redoor tickets it's this one because there are so many incredibly powerful cards we can pull let's just flip up pack number one see what we're working with right off the bat wow this pack actually really fucking sucks okay let's try that again pack number two there's no way we can do worse than that right uh yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. okay two whiffs fine no big deal the third pack's definitely gonna make up for it I imagine right Oh, you fucker. Oh, Gage is probably going to ban this card. It's going to be funny because he's going to ban this and then he's going to probably open it himself and regret the fact that he banned it. But this is frustrating. Uh, Duo Order are both cards that either are going to get banned or cards we already have that are limited. So both of these are duds. Eh, a little bit better. Giant Rat, Mother Grizzly, Magic Train. Like it's not anything broken, but these are like okay cards to have. Well, there's the all-powerful Blue Eyes White Dragon. Glad I got that for my Ultra Rare instead of something useful. Uh, there's the card of safe return at common, which is nice, but we're like a quarter of the way through the opening, and this has actually been pretty lackluster. Okay, well, there's a confiscation. I I'd be excited about this if I actually had some other crazy, ridiculous pulls so far, but this is common, so like we're almost guaranteed to get this. Uh, summon Skull in the super rare slot, though. That could have been literally anything else. Are you... <laughs> 
the second Imperial Order. I'm getting so many ultra rares and none of the ones that I actually fucking need. Oh my God. Okay, there's a dust tornado. I am happy to see this because this is spell and trap removal. MST is better, but this is rare. So this is more likely to show up. But overall, this has been a pretty lackluster opening. I got to say. Okay, a second dust tornado. That actually makes this pool a bit stronger than it was before because two dust tornado is pretty good, but there's a lot better that we could do. Mystical Space Typhoon is an actually pretty interesting pickup. It's a super rare, so it's not super easy for Alex to pick up. It's our second one. I think it's at one at the moment, but um, later on in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, of course, this is a card that goes back to three, and it's uh, relevant at three for a little bit too, so kind of nice to have in the collection, so we choose to keep it. Third card is safe return, and a second ceasefire. Okay, well, the card is safe return is a pretty good pickup, but so far, hasn't been too nice to me. Snatch Steel, that's what I'm looking for. That's the higher end stuff that I'm looking for. I don't have a copy of Snatch Steel yet. A uh, notorious equip spell card right there in the pack. Pretty nice to see. Definitely will take that one. Why is this one short a card? That's a little strange. Megamorph, following it up with another super rare. Not bad there. Not bad. Wow. See, this is an example of some of the good stuff you can get in the packs. I don't know why I doubled up on the right arm, though. But uh, Painful Choice is literally just a common here. I have no doubt Alex will pick himself up a copy. But this is actually the first Painful Choice that we pulled in our 24 pack. So um, even some of the commons are a little bit more difficult to get. You might not just see them in your original pool there. Two rares in here, though. Fissure Trap Pool. Okay, two Dust Tornado makes this pool a little bit better and actually is going to force a decision here as to whether or not I want to respin. Because before, I was just immediately going to respin this. But, you know, Double Dust Tornado is pretty nice. Can't discount that. Okay, there's Painful choice but again this is common so like we should get one of these in 24 packs and like this doesn't really influence much of my decision here i'm really leaning towards using a redoer ticket because this has not been great this is the problem with these larger sets i mean they have so many cards that there's a ton of good reprints but you have to actually pull them for it to actually be worthwhile and as we can see the cards are just not coming watch it's just going to cut over to gauge and he's just going to pull like three insane cards back to back to back okay forceful sentry rare uh, again rares are not guaranteed in the slightest. So we have two dust tornado confiscation, painful choice, forceful sentry. That's pretty good, but I think we can do a lot better than that. Okay. Uh, I was about to get upset with this pack because there was a dark magician in our ultra rare slot, which again, there are like 10 ultra rares that this could have been that I would have been happy with, but we did get call of the haunted and call of the haunted is a card that we currently don't have access to that gauge doesn't have access to assuming he doesn't pull it in this pack. And that's a really good card. Okay, it's starting to get better. Magician of Faith. I've been looking for this. This is a one of so far. Three packs left, and I think the only big hit we've gotten is Snatch Steel. Not a bad one, I'll say, but I um, definitely feel like we could be doing better. I'd like to get more copies of this, but the set's just so big. I'm not surprised we haven't seen them. All right, coming up on the last two packs here, see if we can get anything interesting in the close. A second Mystic Tomato is actually extraordinarily good. That's pretty good. Uh, and the last pack here, anything huge? A second confiscation, unfortunately the card's at one. So, what did we end up with in this pool here? It didn't seem very good. We got the second Space Typhoon, a Giant Rat, a second Mystic Tomato, and the Moth, plus Snatch Steel, of course. I feel like this isn't too shabby, but we could definitely do better. I'm not gonna keep this. I'm definitely gonna re-roll it. I think we could get a lot more broken stuff. All right, it's rewind time, maybe 24 packs, Dark Beginning 1. Let's see if we can do better this time around. I'm feeling feeling lucky. Off the bat, maybe I wasn't too lucky. Mercurio Destructure, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, actually. Makiura is totally banned, and it's totally unerratted, too, until super super later on in the game. Uh, if he's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can activate one trap. Yeah, that's bullshit. This card is, if it's sent to the graveyard, I'm pretty sure in any sense, I can activate trap cards from my hand this turn. So Makiura, kind of fucking tough. Super rare, dark beginning one. I think this was a promo before too, so didn't have access to it at all. That's a very cool pickup, awesome. All right, you guys, so only a few packs left of dark beginning one. This is actually becoming more and more of a difficult decision just because of the fact that we've pulled some pretty decent cards here in the half end of the opening. So nothing great in that pack there. Uh, another Forceful Sentry. Again, this is limited because we are going by whatever ban list is active at the time. And so we already have one of this, so this doesn't really change much. If we get some crazy card here in the end, I might actually keep this, but it's gonna have to be something really good. What did we get? What did we get? Mm, how? Okay, so the standout cards here, we got Conf 
obfuscation, painful choice, but those are common. So those should be a given in almost every opening, although there aren't necessarily. We also pulled two dust tornadoes and we pulled a call of the haunted and a forceful sentry. So a lot of powerful generic spells and traps that we're probably going to play in most of our decks. We also got a decent amount of the recruiters. I think we have like a play set of giant rat and stuff now as well, which is like, okay, by this like point in the series standards. Card of safe return, we pulled a couple of those as well. We didn't get any of the major, major just pulls out of the set. Like we didn't get a change of heart. We didn't get a reborn. Uh, we got Call of the Haunted, which I think is probably like the best we did in that department. But can we do better? That's the question. Man, this is so tough. A lot of you are probably thinking like, oh, you 100% respin this because you didn't get any of the crazy power cards. And yeah, but like I got a lot of generically good stuff as well. Fuck it. Let's just, let's just redo it. Use the redoer ticket. I don't want to think about it. Let's just hurry up and make sure I don't regret this decision. 24 more packs. Just get into it. Please just be something good right off the bat to validate this decision. Uh, that is not what I was looking for. Mage power is a sick ultra, but it's not the ultra I'm looking for. And that could have been like Snatch Steel, Change of Heart, Reborn. 22 packs to go. It's fine. It's fine. United, we stand. I'm getting every ultra except the ones that I actually want. Don't do this to me. Fisher trap hole removal, but like bottomless is better. And I guess a third Fisher is fine in all honesty. Like this card will be pretty relevant for a while, especially because I only have one smashing ground. Okay, um, folks, we may have made a mistake. This is 11 packs in. You haven't been seeing much of me It's because we're not getting too much. Uh, this is a relinquished super rare. I, I don't even think I have the uh, ritual spell to be able to play with it. So that's a waste of a super rare. Blue eyes, toon dragon super rare. Again, just another gargantuan waste. Not a card I ever intend to play. Dust tornado as a rare. Okay, finally, we're starting to get something. Dust is really, really good in the rare slot here. Um, I'd like to have more spell trap removal and dust is just a generic one. Pretty good. I'll take it. Everything else in this pack is bad though, man. More than halfway through. I'm getting towards the end. I need to do better. That's a second dust tornado actually back to back. And then uh, that's the second card of safe return. Um, we got a whole bunch of them in the last opening there, but um, this is the second one I've actually got here. Confiscation already have one. Not really interested in it. Giant rat. That's the second copy. Magical hats. That's like the second one I've gotten. Sheesh. This is looking bad. Okay. We got our call of the haunted back. I guess that's pretty good, but we still don't have the dust. Us tornadoes, the forceful century, the confiscation, or the painful choice, and we are over a third of the way through. Yikes. Okay, there's the painful choice. Uh, another cyber jar is very funny, but unfortunately, I already have it. Uh, over halfway through, uh, there's still a chance, but it's not looking great. A second call of the haunted is interesting, but I wish it was something else because I think it's limited currently, so I wouldn't be able to actually take advantage of two call, at least until this card comes off the list much later. Okay, there's the comp but we're still missing like dust tornadoes and I think we haven't gotten forceful sentry yet either so uh still we're about like average at this point okay okay there's a dust tornado so we've effectively at this point traded the second dust tornado for the second call of the haunted which isn't particularly good because we can only play one call of the haunted anyway uh how many packs we got left like six okay I guess there's still some hope okay there's the second dust tornado so I think at this point all I'm missing is forceful sentry and then I think we've effectively evened out on the polls, which is very strange that we've almost gotten almost exactly the same cards uh, in terms of like what we're looking for. But what well, we got five packs, I need Forceful Sentry, and there's still a chance to get something crazy, but I don't know at this point. Goblin Attack Force. Not too much to say about God. I think it's a too little too late. All right. Last few packs, ladies and gentlemen, this reroll that's unbelievable. This reroll was such a mistake. I can't even play that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow. That's so upsetting. All right. Last two packs of dark beginning one. It's been bad. It's been really bad. It's been so bad. I could literally cry. I, that is so upsetting, dude. I lost snatch steel magician of faith double card a safe return in the first run and what did i get this time three dust tornado that's like actually it makiura is kind of cool but i might be in trouble this episode i don't have a choice save it to the collection let's get building all right you guys so only a few packs left and fascinatingly enough we actually like broke even on our dark beginning one redoer ticket there's still three packs that we could pull something insane and we're gonna need something like that if we want to really ha have this be worth the redoer ticket but let's flip it up and see See, another Fisher and Trap Hole, really? Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, I guess Mother Grizzly's finals. I already have a play set. Two packs to go. Please just show me something insane in the hollows. Oh my God. All right, last pack. <sighs> Change of heart, reborn, just one of the power cards Gage already has access to. That would be a great way to finish this off. 
I didn't get really to really see what I got here. Oh my God. Okay. Well, <laughs> I cannot believe this. I, like I, I almost pulled exactly the same cards as the other set, but I'm actually missing Forceful Sentry, which really sucks because Forceful Sentry is nice because it's free. Like Comfy costs life points to play it, but I guess we got our Dust Tornadoes. I guess we got our Call of the Haunted, and I guess we have some other generic stuff to work with too, but damn, that was disappointing. I got so many hollows, and none of them were the correct ones. Uh, that, buy the singles, ladies and gentlemen. What else more is there to say? All right, let's uh, add it to the collection, and we have a lot of work to do for this episode, because if Gage had any bit of above average luck, we're probably fucked. I am extraordinarily disappointed with this opening today. A set that I thought could completely change the direction of the progression series has just fucked me in the ass, bro. I got absolutely dicked down by Dark Beginning. The first go round was pretty lucky. Magician of Faith and Snatch Steel seemed like some pretty good cards, but I got greedy. I got that pot of greed, man. I said we could do better, and oh, we did not. I definitely did not get lucky with Dark Beginning 1. I am playing pretty much the same list we did last week with some minor unnoticeable changes. Pretty much just Dust Tornado in the main deck here in place of one Raigeki break. Slim down the Knight Assailant because we don't need the lock. I feel like our only other flip is Magical Merchant. Just buffed out the side deck a little bit and fixed up the main deck. As much as I don't want to run this deck again, I wanted to completely flip my strategy. I feel like this is just our best chance of winning. Going into a format where Alex is able to get Spell or Trap removal, I can't try to rely on some kind of burn strategy because I'll get blown out. Uh, also buy his own Chaos Emperor Dragon I just feel like it's easy to be able to deal with any stun strategy with a combination of cards like Cold Wave, Giant Trunate, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, Heavy Storm if he gets it. Trying to get fancy with some kind of stun strategy or something with Stealth Bird when I have no idea what Alex has pulled from his set. He could have pulled like Nobleman of Cross out and stuff too. God, man, I really could have pulled stuff like that. Since I have no idea what he's gotten from his pull himself, I think the best course of action is just, just stick with a deck that is just ubiquitously good against any sort of deck Alex might pilot. You guys saw it last episode, being able to pair Chaos Semper Dragon with like Cold Wave or Giant Trunade. It's just uh, unbeatable, actually, because if I can get the advantage with a card like Night Assailant or if I have my Sangin or Witch on the board, it is uh, lights out from there. I still feel like this list is extremely powerful, and honestly, whatever Alex chooses to pilot against me, I feel like I have a solid matchup. So that being said, let's see what we're able to do, and let's really, really hope Alex didn't get lucky. This episode is do or die, because whoever wins this is going to have access to the wheel and the wild cards for Dark Beginning 1, and that is terrifying. Gage does not need any more OP ban worthy cards in his pool. That's what we need. And so we have to pull out all the stops. We need to try to win this one with everything we've got, which is why we're bringing this deck to today's duel. I've come to the realization that I have to be the aggressive player in these duels because Gage has way more inevitability because his control package is so much stronger than mine. So we need to beat his face into the ground as fast as humanly possible. So that way we can end the game quickly because the longer it goes on, the more it's going to be in his favor, which is why we are playing the deck you see before you today. So this is Chaos Aggro slash like Earth Rat Toolbox. I don't exactly know what to call this, but I wanted to take just the best of both of these two strategies because CED is just so centralizing and so powerful and we need to take advantage of this while we can. But at the same time, I don't think we need to go all in on the Chaos Emperor Dragon package. I think a lot of the Earth monsters actually benefit us more for a more aggressive deck. And so let's do the card by card. So we have two Berserk Gorilla. Uh, so obviously, we're playing Skill Drain in here. Skill Drain's nice because I've noticed Gage is playing a ton of flip effect monsters between Magical Merchant and Knight Assailant and just all these cards that are really puny that have these very powerful plussing effects. But with Skill Drain up, they do absolutely jack shit. So if we can Skill Drain and just stick some big guys, we'll probably just win these games easily because he's gonna have no way to deal with it. Skill Drain also prevents Emperor from resolving, which is very big. It still turns CED into a 3k beater. So honestly, that's perfect for what we're looking to do anyway. We have Warrior Lady in here as well as Exiled Force. These are anti-synergistic with Skill Drain, but we can get both of these off of respective recruiters and allows us to maintain board presence because we're trying to just deal as much damage as possible. Then we have Giant Rat. So Giant Rat is at three thanks to the brand new Dark Beginning because before I think we had one copy of it, so we managed to snag two here. And Giant Rat's nice because it works under Skill Drain. It can get us either an Exiled Force, which if we don't have Skill Drain up, we can actually pop a monster. We can grab Pyramid Turtle, which will allow us to get into Vampire Lord, which is a very devastating threat, or 
or we can go for the most aggressive option, which is Injection Fairy Lily, which is how we can close out the game incredibly quickly if we get Gage on an open board with this. So that's why we're maxing out on this card. Sasuke's an 1800 light. That's pretty much always good for. Pyramid Turtle is a nice float to get into Vampire Lord off of Rat and just allows us to keep maintaining board presence because that's what we're trying to do. Sangan can search like half of this deck, but it gets a light if we need to actually get to CED. So that's pretty important. Shining Angel floats into Warrior Lady, Skill Dark Magician, and the next four monsters are just big dudes that are both light and dark attributes. So Skill Dark Magician, two Archfiend Soldier. I actually didn't know I had these until I looked into my pool and one X Head Cannon. Initially, I was playing Zombire the Dark, but the problem with Zombire is if we don't have skill drain up, Zombire can't attack directly and we're trying to close out the game as fast as possible. If I had Berserk Gorilla, I'd probably play a third one, but this is a dark and it's 1900. And I think the only card that this really like can't hit over that Gage is playing, at least if we're going based off of like what I saw last episode is like maybe Zaborg and I guess Vampire Lord if he's still playing it and obviously like the big monsters, but this will hit over every single one of his little monsters, no problem. And we really want to make him waste cards because we're going to be dropping threat after threat after threat. That does it for the monsters though. Next up, we have our spell. So Comfy is in here as well as Triple Trap Dust Shoot. I'm just going after Gage's big cards, like his CED, like his Chaos Sorks, anything that can just dismantle his hand. That's why we're going the full package here. When I know I'm going second, I'll probably take these out, but Comfy is still incredible. We have Double Fisher because we need removal. We have Giant Trunade to stop any back row shenanigans. Two, my body is a shield. I didn't want to go the full three because we are playing Fairy Lily, but two is good to stop any of his back row, like his bottomlesses, maybe his Raigeki breaks if he's still playing the Ring of Destruction. I know he's got stuff like Zaborg now, which this can kill and actually negate. So that's pretty nice. Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, and Smashing Ground, which is like our third Fisher, but Smashing Ground's obviously better. And then the traps, there's a ton of them. So Call the Haunted allows us to be very aggressive, which is why this is in here. Compulse will just bounce anything that's set back to the hand and we can just get in for a huge amount of damage. Double Dust Tornado, so we're not dealing with any of his back row. We can just flip this in the end phase. Very powerful card, happy to have it. IO can stop the big stuff like Raigeki, Change of Heart, Monster Reborn. We're, there's pretty much no circumstance we're ever not gonna play this card. Ring of Destruction, Saku, the double skill drain because we only have two, and Torrential to round out the main 40 with our triple trap dust shoot. The side deck's a bunch of cards to be able to adapt to what sort of deck Gage is playing, although he's probably just gonna play a souped up version of what he played last time. So we have Jinzo in here. This is mainly as a precaution against any slower deck because I'm playing a lot of traps and I really just wanna see only monsters I can always drop onto the field. So having a tribute monster in that regard is a little bit of a crutch. Uh, Vampire Lord's like that, but we can get it off Turtle. So it's a little bit different. Swordsman level two's in here to get into all of his defense position monsters, but it kind of sucks under skill drain. It also isn't a big monster. Like if this had 1900 attack like Mystic Swords in level four, then I'd probably play it, but that obviously has its own downside. I have two Tomato and a Spirit Reaper in case we need to have a little bit more of a defensive option in here, but I don't think we're going to side these in. Cold Wave is in here because if I know I'm going second, I'll probably side this in because if I have the board, I can just Cold Wave him and probably just win that turn. So that could be pretty nice. The third Fisher, the third My Body, we can adjust these when we're going first or second as necessary. Double Nobleman again for more back removal. This is like MST two and three, but it's kind of bad because he plays my body in Book of Moon. So I'm not convinced. United We Stand is very funny, although I don't think we're going to play it. And then double bottomless, double Raigeki break. Just more removal that we need to adapt our deck if necessary. I just want to have as many options as possible. But I feel really good about this deck. I think this is going to have a great shot at beating Gage, but there's only one way to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Big episode today, Gage. Big fucking episode. I am excited, nervous, terrified. I am feeling 20 emotions at once right now, and I think the audience probably is as well. How are you feeling about the first ever side set ever in the pro uh, progression series season two. Alex, I feel like it really did its job, man. I said this was gonna <laughs> shake up the meta, and let's just say, dude, I think a new beginning is gonna be carved from this set. It's- Ah, oh, how long did you take to think that one? I actually, I, 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 it was a little bit. I thought of it earlier today. But I, I do think this set is, uh, it's really good. But the thing is also, Alex, that I realized when I was opening my packs, it's really big. There's a lot of cards yes, in it. Yes, yes. I specifically started out when I was doing my loser duty privileges uh, by <laughs> highlighting the set. I said that it's 250 cards or something like that. So while there are a lot of big bombs and huge cards that we missed out on previously, it's not guaranteed that we're going to get those cards. Sure, yeah. <laughs> right? And we were talking so, too, we were saying like, there's cards like Forceful Century, Magician of Faith, yep. and the Rare Slot. And you think, wow, a rare card? I'm guaranteed one of those in every pack. I should nope. be able to get it, right? Dude, how many nope. rares are in the set? It's gotta be like a lot. 50 plus? And no. I can't wait to talk more about that in depth. Because obviously we haven't played yet. 
I know the audience is eager for us to get to that, but there, there's a lot I think we both want to talk about with our openings that we haven't been able to disclose yet. So buddy, let's just get into it. I, I know you just want to get and throw down just like I do. So let's shout the patron. It is Gage, please play Ojama Law of the Normal or else I'm Team Alex 100%. Yeah, he, Thank he, you. For you can go over to Team Alex. That's all right, man. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I need all I can get at this point, buddy. All right, let's see what you're doing. Oh, all right, bud. Cool. So I was also saying how this episode is so important to win as well, just because of what's on the line for the winner's wheel next time around. Yes, but. sir. The winner's wheel is going to be a big one. I think the especially, oh my God, the wild cards are ridiculous. Uh, yep. So I still think, Alex, the extra card, at least in my deck, is ridiculous. So I'm going okay. to opt to go second. You can take the first turn. Okay. It's interesting because we're obviously playing with all these older sets, right? And before, you would just always draw on your first turn, regardless of going first or second. So I do like how we've actually had to think about this sometimes to see whether or not it's worth it or not for us to do it. But all right, buddy, good luck. I will go to my main phase one and I'm going to think about how I want to do this. I'm going to start by normal summoning your favorite card from last episode, X Head Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, are you sure your pulls were good enough? I can't. You're playing this shit again. It can't be that. We'll good. see, buddy. We'll see. I'm gonna set three cards and I'm gonna throw it to you. All right, man. I'll draw for turn. Stand by. Show please. me that fucking hand, buddy. Oh man, that's a good peek, and that was a good draw too. I'm not gonna even let you know what I top decked. I'll shuffle it first. All right, get a peek. Okay. Ooh, wow. So I only get one option here yeah. for what. To actually send back okay so uh well yada's the pick i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly write down what's in your hand so it's io mst my body ride geki okay uh so yep shuffle yada back because i have to pick a monster this is not comfy or anything else yep. so all right so we'll shuffle it right. in there okay the bird's gone but i will go to my main phase one that's okay that's fine all right man i'm going to set oh boy literally anything <laughs> your whole hand literally it could be anything and uh, I'm actually, oh my god, I'm kind of petrified of like a confi or something <laughs> off the top. So I am going to set that. Go ahead, man. Your turn. Going to set literally everything. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw here. Main phase one. Uh, this is quite an interesting predicament I find myself in here. So I'm going to think about this. Oh, wait. Did I forget a card? What was the other card? Was it ring? I-O-M-S-T. My body. Yes. Rod. Thank you. I knew I was missing something. Okay. I think I saw my body as two words. And I'm like, oh, that's two cards that's right all right uh yeah ring definitely sort of changes the math on things here i am sort of down for this though i'm gonna run out injection fairy lily why would you do this that that's why would you do this <laughs> that's fine battle sure 18 sure declare an attack declaration's fine you want to use the effect i will pump okay yeah i'll take 34 yep second main i got a back row go ahead okay okay I will draw for turn. Sure. Stand by phase, main phase. I'm going to activate Raigeki. That's fine. They're gone. Okay, cool. I'll just set a card and pass it to you, my man. Uh, sure. I'll draw. I will set one. Throw it to you. Okay. I will draw. Stand by main. Same thing, bud. Go ahead. Same thing, huh? All right. Uh, we'll go main one here. You didn't flip your monster. Why would you not flip your monster? Tried to get in. Ooh, could be like Night Assailant. You've been on that recently and you didn't flip it because you don't have a target for it. That could be why. Interesting. I'm gonna pre-mat target. Uh, let's go for X head cannon. Sure. Uh, on the summon, I will bottomless it. Bottomless. Now I need to think. So bottomless was the new card. I imagine it's IO that's not making it easy for you here. Like, if you have my body or something back there, it doesn't feel like it does anything. It's also strange, man. You've been making these plays like this runs into MST, no problem, too. So I'm curious what you got back there. It's definitely an interesting game we're finding ourselves in, that's for sure. Yeah, well, my body. And then um, I'll IO, of course. Dust. Thought you might. Mm, yep, I thought you might get something like that. The first card of Dark Beginning has reared its ugly head. Thinking. We're going to have a, <laughs> a chain link five here? I think we might. I, th I think I'm going for it. <laughs> um, I'm getting real hesitant about using my ring because I don't want to be. Your life's pretty yeah, low. Yeah, I don't want to be like alley-ooped for a, a big kill here. So I'll activate space on the pre-mat. Space on the pre-mat. Okay. So the other sets are my body and ring. 
Okay, so if the chain resolves, MST pops pre-mat, which will kill X-Head Cannon. Dust takes care of IO. My body doesn't matter at that point because X-Head Cannon's gone. If anything, X-Head goes to Grave, which is slightly a better outcome than it getting banished. So I think I'm gonna let all of this resolve. So okay. yeah. We'll have everything go away. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit, that was crazy. <laughs> I'll just pass. Go ahead. Good for me. I will draw, stand my main. I'll throw down Sacred Crane. I will torrential this. And I'll, my body. I just have the answer for everything there. Perfect. That you do. Sure. Uh, Battle, 16. 16 is fine. Uh, your move. All right, I'll draw. I'll throw one down. Throw it back to you. Good looks. I will draw standby phase, main phase. No torrential. I mean, let's see if I can lock it out. Yada. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Yada, I shuffled back, rears its ugly head. I got to think. Yada is fine. Love to hear it. <clears throat> All right, let's go for a game now. I'll flip up Sukiyomi and I'll activate a mandatory effect. I have to target, so I'll target Sacred Crane. Targeting the Sacred Crane. Not good. Not good at all. I don't know. What do you have back there that you even have a decision? I'm curious. Uh, not pretty. All right, uh, I'll flip up the sacred crane. Sure. Battle phase. Okay. 16. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do what I want, sadly. So, I mean, I have a compulse, but. Still think that's Yada it, man. Is, it's either yeah, you're dead Yada's this kind of a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're either so, dead this right. one or the next one. Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> all, all right, very right. cool. Two. Very cool. I'm gonna be kicking myself for this one because, like, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, I don't know. I'll I'll look at it later. But like I feel like that was that one was winnable. But just uh, the way things played out were not exactly ideal. I'm gonna maybe. take one out of your book. I'm gonna go second. Uh, okay. I think there is something to the extra card, especially for how uh, for how things are shaping up. So good luck, okay. buddy. Exactly why I sided in this card. I'm gonna get you got full hand knowledge of mine last time. Give me look at yours, buddy. Let me take a okay. little peek out of here. I already know what the pick's gonna be. So uh, go ahead and take the true nade. What the hand. fuck are you playing? <laughs> Archfiend soldier, skilled dark magician. Hell yeah, bro. Bro, what is this shit? Oh my god. <laughs> um, what do you think I want to take out of your hand, dude? There's I think you want to take true nade. Do I? <laughs> I'm not even scared of it. Like, I'm not even worried about True Nade. Um, honestly, Alex, I'm going to take out your Dust Tornado. Okay, sure. Okay, 1,000 life points to do it. I'll set, I'll set, and uh, no Delinquent Duo feels great. Doesn't it feel great? Okay, it here's here's a question. Great. Did you pull Duo in your packs? I. Why would I tell you that right now? Well, why if you would pulled I even it, it doesn't that? matter because it's we'll bad. Talk, we'll talk about it later, okay? Man, geez, dude. I'll set three and I'll end my okay. turn. Go ahead. Three back row, fine. All right, main one. Do I just go ballistic into three back row? I could. Uh, that's probably what you would want me to do. I feel like I'm gonna have to start just chipping away at this eventually. So, all right, let's see. Uh, back row number one. Uh, behind door number one, you found the bottomless trap hole. There it Dylan. is. All right, soldier gone. I will just pass. All right, cool. I'll draw. Stand by me. Set, pass. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Main one. I guess this one is a bit safer. It's Sangin. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty safe. Okay. I'll try to hit. All right. The hit will uh, be fine. It is Night Assailant. I'll All right, pop sure. Sangin. Taking out Sangin. I will get my search with my Sangin. The world is my oyster. Who do I want? I'm going to pick up a giant rat. Sure. And that'll be it for me. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. Set, pass. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw door number two. Yep, rat's cool. Try to hit with rat. 14's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm just chilling. Go ahead. All right, big chilling. I'll draw, stand by main. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Pain one. Four back row. Haven't done anything yet. You just set everything anyway. So, like, half of the cards you have could just be to play around all the hand destruction now. I guess we just keep going. So, uh, Archfiend Soldier 2. Yep. Battle. Yep, I'm gonna take both of this. This is 33. Okay. Yep, 33. Taking a beating. Life points are going down pretty fast. Uh, I got a back row. I'll throw it to you. Okay, uh, I'll space the back row. That's fine. It's torrential. Okay, okay, that's a good hit. Um, I will draw for turn. Stand by main. Sure. I'll flip rag Yaki. That's fine. Cool. That's well, so much uh, I was doing about it anyway. Summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, and I'll get in for 18. That is fine. Okay. Who are you banishing? I'm going to get rid of both of your darks. Weird good choice there. Um, I'll go main two. 
Followed up with another one. Your move. Okay. Uh, I'll draw here in phase one. I'm going to true nade. That's going to be fine. Okay. Everything can go to hand. Okay. Uh, normal giant rat. Sure. Battle, I'll hit. That's I'll so take interesting. Four. Um, yeah. So giant rat stays on the field and I'm going to trigger Kaiku to banish the other rat. Yep. Don't okay. know if it's relevant, but go ahead. You can resolve your rat. I will get fairy lily. Okay. Tack and pump. That's going to be fine. I'll take 16. It's going to knock okay. you down to seven, uh, which is a pretty decent life total. Cut you off of pre-mat. Uh, so it just makes your options for coming back in this a little bit weaker. So I'll just pass there. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll set one, two, three. The fort's back. Your move, bud. Fort has returned. I'll draw. Well, this is going to force something. So let's see it. You guessed it. I, I do have to respond to this. Um, Sakuretsu armor is going to be able to deal with your very lily. At sure. least. Okay. The very least. That is fine. Uh, second main, I'm going to set one. Okay. I'll throw it to you. And right, I'll draw. Stand my main. I'll summon exiled force and I'll sure. forcibly pop it. What's the rat? Okay. Pretty cool. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. I will normal exiled force. Yep. Try to hit. You're a dick. <laughs> I, I'll give you the pleasure, man. You played under both. Oh, well done. <laughs> hey, oh, thank you for that. All right. Game three. Let's game go, buddy. Game three, baby. Let's go. Alex, these last few games have been a sweat. And this is a, this is a high stakes match, man. Yeah. The wheel next week is unbelievable doesn't yep. matter if you roll anything from a common to a secret rare you're going to be getting some gas in dark beginning so i really want to win this man i want to nab this how do you feel man you feeling good uh, my heart is coming out of my chest right now <laughs> it's, um, it's so close it's so close yeah my hands are so sweaty man i just this has been an unbelievable game so far but you know yeah. what man i don't feel dark beginning is shaked it up that much you are Not playing really, three no. giant rat so I, I mean maybe that's new i think the only new card technically that we've seen is dust tornado from both uh, of us yeah yeah so we'll see we'll see uh, game right, three man. could change everything of course what is it the pick sure gonna be buddy well you're playing some stupid beat down deck so i think it's only reasonable that um i'm gonna take an extra card and go second control you out of the game let's play right. let's see how it goes buddy best of luck all right uh main one i'm going to run out ninja grandmaster sasuke okay he's cool i like him and I will set four cards face down. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll set a monster, and I'll set one, two. I'll just set the two, and I'll pass it to you. Go ahead. Uh, Thinking here. I'm going to dust this one. Okay, greedy. All right, that's fine. Gekki break. I kinda Do you have anything you want to set from your hand? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did not, no. Thank okay. you for asking, <laughs> Just make it, it is sure. part of the card effect. It is part of the card effect. All right, main one. I'm going to exterminate the other one. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, we got to get rid of them. Yep. Uh, Bottomless I, is going. It's out yep. of the game. All right, uh, I've got two in my deck, Alex, so there's mine. I have one in my deck. Okay. I'll believe you. I'll believe you. Okay. I mean, the audience can fucking <laughs> see my screen. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Archfiend Soldier. Yep. Uh, hit with Sasuke. Yep. It's uh, Witch of the Black Forest. Sure. Get to search. We'll see if I regret this later. I'm going to actually pick up with Witch uh, Mystic Tomato. Okay. And then you were making fun of his ass before, so he's going to clobber <laughs> you for a 19. I'm going to take it. Uh, second main, uh, I'm going to pass it to you. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by main. I'm hoping you don't draw a monster next turn, because then I can start to handle things. I'm going to summon Exiled Force. Sure. Uh, and then I'll activate Exiled Force. I'll pop your Archfiend Soldier. All right. He's going to Grave. Set one, two. Go ahead. And I know you have Tomato in hand, correct? You do, yes. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. Main one. Battle. Yep. 18. Yep. Second main, I'll throw another one down. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by main. I will set one and two, and I'll just end. Sure, I'll draw. So, good chance it's Tomato. Could also not be Tomato. We'll go battle. Yep. We'll hit. Tomato. <laughs> good guess. Shocker. Uh, <laughs> I will activate Tomato, and I'll get That's my fine. Sangin from my deck. Sangan's pretty good. Second main, I'll just set one. Okay. I'll throw it to you. I'll draw. Stand by main. All right, see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to activate Giant Trunade. Hmm. You're setting up for something big here. I will IO this. And I'll chain space Typhoon. Sure. Exciting. Cool. So these go to grave. 
That goes and, to hand. Uh, this goes to hand. Cool. Big play coming up. I'm going to tribute Sangin for Zaborg the uh, Thunder Monarch here. Yep. And they're Couple both triggers. mandatory effects. Yep. So I'm going to go check this out. Chain link one Sangin, two Zaborg. Oh, my yep. goodness. <laughs> Chain blocking when there's no back row and no hand traps. Fantastic. Too strong. Nice Ash Blossom. What do I know you have in hand? Three back row? Um, Correct. Have you used Torrential yet? You have not. What do I get? 24 is huge. Three back row. I could just grab Yada and like just pressure you. Well, you already summoned. I know, but I'm saying next turn. Like oh, if you don't turn. draw a monster, you could totally be screwed. Then again, is that too greedy? I'm going to hope it's not. I'm going to pick up Yada Garasu. Sure. Um, battle phase, I'll sink in 24. That'll connect. Okay. And then I'll set one, two. It's your turn, Alex. Okay. So I know you have Yada in hand. I will draw. Let's do this. I'm going to set four. Okay. So I only got back row to deal with. Throw it to you. I'll draw. The one thing I am terrified of is a Torrential Tribute. However, if you don't have a Torrential Tribute and you only have Sakuretsu armor, you are forced to waste it on this Yada. I'm going to hold off on it. Oh, I might be giving you too much room here. Am I scared of the one of? Am I just going to not respect it? I've been thinking since turn one, Alex. You only banished one bottomless trap hole. I don't remember. I got to be honest. I don't remember if you have one or if maybe you had the other one in hand. I do have multiple bottomless that I've pulled. Oh, I mean, you really didn't have to tell me that, but I appreciate it. Bro. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just telling you that, but like we're in game three. I yeah. could have sided out of them. Like they could be anywhere at this point. Yeah. So, so I'm trying like, to that's out, known like... that I have had multiple bottomless. That's yeah. like public knowledge. I mean, you forgot. So I was kind enough to tell you. I appreciate it. So, yeah, the thing is, is like, if I commit this Yada, if it's anything except Torrential, it's huge. But if you have Torrential, it's 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 going to fucking suck. <laughs> and but I'll Torrential has fucked you many a time yeah. in this series. But I'll tell you what, Alex. No gamble, no future. I'm going to summon Yada Garasu. Thinking. Okay, if he had it, he'd flip it up right away. <laughs> okay, we're, we're in the clear. <laughs> or I'm slow rolling you. Uh, this is fine. Okay, wonderful. All right. Unless you pulled Mirror Force. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll go... <laughs> now you're worried about that? <laughs> yeah, right. I'll go Battle Phase. I'll do a little two with Yada. Got Saku, man. You got to burn it. Don't have Saku. I have something that I don't really want to use, but sadly, I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted. Okay. Uh, target, target Archfiend Soldier. That's fine. Did its job, I guess. Um, and then 24 over the Archfiend Soldier. Yeah, I was hoping you would attack with Zaborg first. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Gore's mentality, my man. I still yeah. have it. So <laughs> I'll go uh, main phase two. I'll commit another one to the back row here. Uh, data mind to the back row there. I feel pretty good, man. Hopefully you draw something. End phase. Bird back to hand. Go ahead. It's maybe my last draw. Oh, did you just get that Call of the Haunted, by the way? Or do you didn't pull that in your... I pulled it right? in, in Dark Beginning, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> I was wait, I was expecting a larger reaction. I, I just didn't know if you got it or not. That's a good one, though. That's a yeah, really good... Whoa, good bro. One. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Editor, you can, uh, you can plug that in right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I think I know the play. True nade. All right, stymie it. I.O. My turn, baby. You got something big cooking. Do you have your MST, though? That I do not. That is nice. fine. I will set, and I will pass. All right, I'll draw. Stand by. I will keep my I.O. I'll pay the seven. Sure. Main one. Yadagarasu. Sure. Battle. Over the face down. Well, Gage, congratulations on the first ever Yada Lock in it Progression feels Series. feels good, man. So, so strong. That's yeah, the lock. Not else. Not much else I can do. Let uh, me sink the one attack in. Let me poke it. Yeah, let go me, ahead. Let me get get it. Your, I'll give you the pleasure. Get your attack <laughs> in. Satisfactory, bro. Awesome. Yep, all these banned nice. cards out on the field. But uh, I guess I messed up leaving you with the Sangan. I could have... Uh, I don't know if you had a way to stop it, but I could have called the Haunted, bring back Archfiend Soldier to hit over it so you didn't have I Zaborg. I did have a response. I had a Sakuretsu. You had Saku. Okay. So yeah. in all and fairness, then I also had another one. Too, uh, so. You just drew that one. So yeah, that, that's a little bit different. Um, yeah. So I don't think, man, I don't think there's really anything I could have done then because that was the only thing I could have done differently, but you had the sack to protect it. Uh, it was another bottomless, but you true okay. nated. So like it didn't matter anyway. Yeah. 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 That was uh, the, that was the plan is I, I true nated to, to stick this as a board. Oh, through of course. Anything, yeah. And then I know none of your 1900 or even your berserk gorilla can get around him. Yeah. So he's just going to topple over. And that's why I figured the Yada was a good follow up because I just poke over whatever you summon or set and then lock you out. Yeah. No, I needed a floater or something to get rid of your uh, Zaborg. So I needed like rat 
or I needed like Sangan or I needed like Warrior Lady. I needed just something that was going to have, uh, that was going to contest Zaborg essentially mm -hmm. or Yada at the same time. But Gorilla was sadly the card there. Uh, this was just another extermination. I okay. figured I knew uh, you were just going to have all these back row and I just wanted to try to keep hitting in. So my theory was, was that I, your deck is just like way too powerful. And so I needed to just try to beat you down before you were able to like get established. And so I was playing a sort of like chaos aggro plus like earth rat toolbox package going on here. So it was like, it's kind of all over the place. One of the signature cards I was playing that we actually didn't get to see that I was thinking so much in our earlier game was skill drain. Skill drain, uh, yeah. Just because you had Yada. And so I was trying to figure out a scenario where I could skill drain your Yada to keep it on the field. So that way, A, I don't miss my draw, but then B, I also am able to uh, keep Yada on the board. So if I draw any monster, you're on like 1300 life. So I just killed you and won the game. Yep. But the sad part is, is that my life was too low and you also had Ring of Destruction. So you were, there was, because you had Sook, Crane, and Yada, I wasn't able to survive all of it. If you just had like Sook and uh, Yada or like Crane and Yada, I could have done it. Uh, and then any monster would have won the game there, but just didn't happen. And I was playing like 18 monsters. So I was hoping that I would see more, but I feel like it, like that just like was not, the cards did were not you, coming that way and that way. Did you have a play with the True Nade or were you just True Nading to- Oh, I was bluffing. To throw I was trying to I just like, yeah, I just bluffed you at that point just to see if I could get something out of you. But nope. I mean, once I saw Gorilla, I just knew it was over. I was trying to see if uh, I would maybe force you to not summon the Yada because you might think I have something else going on. But yeah. No, good games, buddy. Uh, good games, man. I got to ask, bro. Dark Beginning 1. How'd you do? <laughs> You saw my Call of the Haunted, uh, and you've seen my Dust Tornado. I actually got two Call of the Haunted, which sucks because I can't play two of them. It's Don't limited. worry, you'll be able to later, and it's yeah, a-okay. Eventually. Like in Zector eventually. format. In Zector format, pretty good. I also got a second Dust Tornado as well. Um, nice. So I actually used my Redoer ticket, and my pulls were almost identical in both Oh! <laughs> so okay. I got, in, in the first set of pulls, I only got uh, one Call of the Haunted, I think, and this time I got two. But I I got the two dust tornado again. I got comfy, which you, uh, I don't think you saw comfy. You saw dust shoot. I got painful choice. I got like the main commons, no magician of faith, which I was just fuming. Me uh, neither. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, I didn't get true nade, which is very funny because it, oh, was, that's hilarious. <laughs> I was thinking like, damn, I'm going to regret this. But in two redo in two in 48 packs, I did not see true nade. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I made the right call in that, in that case. But, uh, so no true, uh, no true nade either. Uh, but honestly, like that was like really it. All my, ultras and supers aside from call the haunted were like duds i got um i think in the first set i got a delinquent duo which i was laughing hysterically but um i think i got like blue eyes both times i think i got like dark magician summon skull i was getting i, I think i got united we stand mage power the second set around oh wow okay. which are like okay but like but i think only we're, all right. we're kind of like past them being good at this point i feel mm -hmm. so i think i sided united we stand but i i don't know um yeah that was that was it honestly i mean it's nice for the spell and trap removal if anything and call the haunted's great but i'm on i'm terrified i i know you can do way better than that so let's I, hear it come on I'm, I'm miserable actually bro i'm so upset the first time around i pulled get this man i got the magician of faith i got the one and then one. i got snatch steel dust tornado and some other trinkets here and there you know but you know what i said alex i said snatch steel's cool and all magician of faith neat but i can do better i i was thinking there's cards like forceful century and stuff i could get how did i miss all of those i re-rolled my packs bro i got shit on <laughs> Oh my god, dude, the best card that I got out of Dark Beginning 1 was three copies of Dust Tornado. And I mean, that's three just dust is good, though. It. Three it's dust good, good, but when yeah. you compare it to the fact that I got Snatch, Steel, yeah. and Moth and stuff in the first runaround, it was yeah. embarrassing. And Alex, next to last pack, you want to know what I pulled? What? I flipped over my cards, and what do I see in the super duo. rare slot? Duo! Smile duo. Next to me. Duo. Delinquent <laughs> Duo! <bro. laughs> yeah! I was so upset. I was, and you know what? I made the respectable play, Alex. I didn't re-record the banning. I said, all right, I banned it. Fair is fair. We're that best not fair. playing with the That is fair. It. I appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate that. <laughs> so oh my yeah, God. it was, uh, the first go around was so good. And the thing was, is I did a couple like test packs before I started like actually okay. opening them. I was going to sure, see like, sure. you know, what, what's possible? You know, like, can we get good stuff? And the ones I was opening, I was getting a whole bunch of really good stuff, whole bunch of staples, snatch steel, 
was in most of them, plus a whole bunch of like forceful sentry and stuff. So when I pulled the first time around, I was like, ah, I can do so much better than that. And I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> so um, that literally the only thing that changed in my deck, man, is I, I plugged in Dust Tornado. That's it. Wow. I also will say I did get uh, a full playset of Giant Rat. I only had yeah. one from Magic Ruler. So I got two more. I think I got two or three both uh, re-rolls, which was cool. The, the, um, I got a, a Mystic Tomato. I got a second one in oh, my- Oh, nice. Uh, you have a second tomato. My, That's pretty good. No, I don't. I, I got a second one in my first run. Oh, and you didn't let me finish. You really <laughs> it. Sorry. Sorry. So I re-rolled it, man. I don't want to- I'm so upset, dude. This set was supposed to be so hype. And I was so excited. I was like, man, I'm just going to keep winning and winning and winning. Which, uh, granted, I'm going to be doing that anyways. But you are. Uh, yeah, but it, man, I think I just got unlucky with that reroll. That was so upsetting. Double-edged sword here. Uh, I am on a three loss streak. So the banning is in effect for me next game. So it is. Uh, but Maybe. you get to spin probably the most broken wheel yet for your victory. And I'm nervous because you're talking about how you didn't get anything good out of... Uh, actually, now that I think about it, we didn't talk about your wheel for this oh, the time. Way, uh, don't worry about it, man. I literally, for the first time in the progression series history, I rolled the worst thing on the wheel. I got Which the was? wild card common. Oh, God. <laughs> please, please get that for next episode, too. That's why, Alex, if I get wild card common for next episode, I'm going to be stoked because there are some broken commons in this are set. There? So what, I, what yeah. commons? We, you pulled painful them? choice and Convy and shit, bro. There's like, I, I obviously I have those, but I, I have say, no I think doubt those are that like there's the more best in commons. There. There's got to be something else in there, man. I have hopes. Uh, oh, I also forgot to mention, I got forceful sentry in the first roll, and I missed it the second time. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I swapped the the forceful sentry for the second copy of Call of the Haunted, oh, which I was kind man. of livid about, but uh, it is what it is. I think, I mean, overall though, I think we had a fantastic episode. Like, regardless of, I, I think there's a lot of highs and lows this episode, right? We had both of us using redoer tickets uh which i think we're pretty low on redoer tickets if my memory serves correctly i now. got a refund early on for one of them so i think I'm you a, did i think we might be even by now because i used one earlier right so i think we may and i'm sure the editor already edited in we may each have like one remaining at this mm -hmm. point so uh that we're, they're going fast they're going fast and i mean yeah the, the games were good i mean i got we got yada locked we got to see why this card is terrible maybe i'm banning yada i don't know but you get a pick now though so i, I mean, do get choose to pick. wisely bud choose yeah. wisely yeah uh, we'll see we'll see so guys that's going to wrap it up for another episode. I hope you enjoyed. As always, let's shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to shout 1317, Moto Cameron Smith, Tim Zuzer, X3, SJ Winchester, Chaotic Meeple, MBT, Play Medolce, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Medhoven, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asin 05, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blazum, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Skyrose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos TT, Flannel Daddy, Phoenix the Immortal, Einstein's Theory of MBT's Relative Toes, Hornet, Give Me Speedroid or Give Me Death, Jonah Messenger, TC Gaming, Thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Matthew Brady, Max, MBT's Ghost Trick BMW, Tom Russell. Why read cards when you can just click buttons? Helios 515, Black Acre. Thank you, Simo, MBT, Gage, the RJB0, and Ruxin34. The entire state of Indiana. Valen Jackson, Justice for Queen, Tira Masu. Imagine committing a crime and finding out your lawyer is a Yugi tubing Rothschild. MBT fans scare me more than COVID. Simping for Simo, Tyler H., Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers. Nim Noodle, Malaprinch of the Burning Tunnels. MBT canceled by all communities soon. Mike Ty, Stella, and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. Just an awesome name. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. And The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.